Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here two stacks of packs. These are 1992 Stadium Club football, and these are 1993 Stadium Club football. Both of these are Series 2 packs. Now, from both of these, some lots of great cards could come out. Uh, possible inserts, great photography and all of that. That's definite. Stadium Club was totally known for that. Now, unfortunately... Or for whatever for whatever it is, Stadium Club in 1992 had three series. Okay, they had Series 1, Series 2, and then they, they had the high numbers. Now, the high numbers, to me, that's where the highlight, highlight card would be. Um, I mean, there's the Brett Favre, uh, rookie, pre-rookie card. Uh, Darren Woodson would be in there. There's a Joe Montana in there. So lots of cool cards in the high number set. Unfortunately, though, in Series 2... Uh, you do have some great players, that's for sure. Steve Young is there, Emmett Smith is there, but PSA values is a huge difference. Uh, the Brett Favre pre rookie is somewhere over three hundred bucks. The, to the Troy Vincent uh, is also somewhere for some reason around five hundred. I'm not sure if that's just a PSA card dot com aberration, which they have a bunch of. I where they have multiple cards and all sorts of stuff like that. It, it's they're, they're a mess. That's all I can say. I don't see why or how or anything like that but it just is what it is um so yeah this is possible that you could find some good cards in series two uh but the high number series is definitely the highlights there in stadium club 1993 however okay there are some definite great cards that could be in these uh the draft pick logo michael strahan could be in this that could be cool barry sanders could be cool lawrence taylor uh jerome bettis so there's lots of possible good cards that could be in 1993. So PSA values, I'd say 93 has 92 bead. But who knows what's in them? So we'll take a look, see, we'll find out. And we're going to split this down the middle here. 93 is going to be there, 92 is going to be there. And we'll see which side wins as far as great cards, great players. I'm going to start off with 1992. Because, you know, it's the year before 93. So I want to be... Very careful opening these. Very careful with a knife, right? All right, there we go. And on these, like many of the other, like, high high photography cards, Kodak paper and all of that, because of the age, you don't know how they were stored, so there could be some stickage there. And that's never fun, but it's part of what happens. All right, and there's definitely flippage, that we know. Now, these are really great-looking cards. They were... Definitely ahead of their game for the early 90s. Got Rufus Porter starting us off. Not starting off with a bang or a boom, that's for sure. Got James Jones. Don Beebe. Beeb. Beeb. Beep, beep. Kevin Butler. Iliad Bevez. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. You're not a hockey player, but I can't I can't read your name. Joe Bowden. That's a college card. He's with the Oilers, but that's not an Oilers uniform. Okay, so who we have here? We have Members Choice, Derek Thomas. Members Choice was a line, a line of cards or a bunch of cards within that set. But they basically chose great players from that time. Got Bob Burnett. Throw him around. Cornelius Bennett. Okay, well, that's a okay. That's a nice card. Good looking card, too, there. I think I'm going to frapper that one up. I think he deserves a frapper. Got one up on the board for 92. Dan Owens. Now, we can't forget our propaganda. Need that. Club membership. Okay, we got Brian Noble, Noble, Dan Fike, Warren Powers, William Fuller, and Lemuel Stinson. So in my eyes, I got one card up to 92, and we'll be starting off 93 in a second, if I could get this pack of frappers. 
like to produce a frapper for me. Now, I, I must not have high expectations. I think there's only like five frappers in that package left. So we'll see what happens. If I need to, I got another one within arm's reach that I could get to. Maybe I should have prepared a little bit better. All right, so we got the 93 now. And again, to me, I'm looking for the Michael Strahan draft pick logo card. That would be pretty cool. But there's still lots of other great ones that could be in here. We'll see. Okay, well, there's an info card. There, now they made the names even bigger. So that's good. My blind eyes can see. Got Wayne Simmons, draft pick. Well, that's not the one I'm looking for, but it's good to see we got a draft pick card. Lynn Elliott. Lots of flippage. Matt Stover. And more flippage. Courtney Hall. Carry Cash. Oh, look at that. I got some cash in this pack. Reggie White. All right. Now that's not bad. I should probably put him in a frapper. I think so. He'll go in a frapper. He's a great player. We got DJ Johnson. And we got ourselves another draft pick. Darren Gordon. Brad Baxter. And the info card. Just in case you need some information, I guess they gave it to you there. You can win master photos. Mike Johnson. Kenny Norton. Dar Darren Jordan. Greg Montgomery. And Steve Jordan. All right, well, we got, looks like, one to put in the frapper there. So we got two minor hits, one for 93 and one for 92. Let's get to 92 again, see what's in the next pack of these 92s. There we go. I ripped it open. I was able to shred it. And let's see, there's another one. Nope, not yet. Come on, Lego. They definitely made these packs tough to open. I don't remember if they were tough to open in 92, because I don't think I was opening many of these in 92, 93. I was kind of sort of out of the hobby by that point. Just in some ways, yeah. In other ways, it was to me, it was mostly buying up collections and uh, doing some flipping as far as collections and cards that were worth something. You know, the way to pay the bills in some ways. And I hold on to some cool cards, which I ended up losing just for life, you know. Stuff happens. Got Lonzo Wise. Wise, Wes, Mitz. Oh, Mitz. Yeah, that's my reading again. Steve Bono. Yeah, no, you're going to sit down. Richie Mor Archie Rich Moran. Okay, Rich Moran. Darren Combio. Kombu. Kombucha. Kamo. A commode. He's not a commode. John Taylor. Chris Hinton. Carlos Huerta. Redskins. Ernest Biner. Byers. Doug Smith. 49ers. Keith Henderson. Chris Dolman, Brian Cox, Cox, John Randall, Henry Elliard, and Brad Edwards. So nothing at all in that second pack. Let's see pack number two of 1993. Who we got in there? Who we got in there? Let's see. All right. We got some flippage going on. Of course. Okay. We are starting off with David Little. He don't look little to me. I mean, maybe pictures are deceiving. Maybe he was really little. 
That that doesn't look like Mini Me though, that's for sure. Robert Massey. Kevin Kelvin Pritchett. And I gotta flip another one anyway. Mark Schlereth. Schlereth. John Randall. Stan Humphreys. Ken Harvey. Arthur Marshall. Merrill Hoge. Info card. Herschel Walker. Okay, we got one more to put up on the wall, I think. Herschel Walker was a good player. Really good player. David Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Vaughn Johnson member's choice card there. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Eric. Eric. Pegram. See, when names are spelled like not, not, not the typical way, you got to wonder if a spelling error was made you know, like on a birth certificate or something. I meant to put one R, but we put two in there. It, what, or was it because they were trying to be cool? And got Steve Berlin. Were they trying to be cool and say, yeah, you know what? We want him to be named like Uncle Eric, but just not exactly like Uncle Eric. So we're going to be putting like three R's and a Y instead of an I. That might be a good idea. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Well, who am I to say? If uh, any of my kids names a kid after me, I, I have a completely different spelling that they could use. And that'll be up to them if they do that or not. It'll, it'll be like 19 letters. Several repeated. I might put, I might look for a number in there or something. Then it just to make it completely different, you know? I think that would be kind of unfair. But it'll make them stand out. All right, we're starting off here with Glenn Parker. Now, that's really, really tiny for some reason now. That's huge. Mitchell Price. Larry Roberts. Yep, Roberts. Ribbits. Dexter McNabb. Leroy Butler. And we got ourselves a checklist. We always need a checklist. Got to have a checklist in every pack, every opening, everywhere. Brace Palp. Tom Raman. Michael, Michael Irvin. Okay, I'll put that one up on the wall. I think that one should go up on the wall. That's a very nice card. Great player. Ray Seals. And we got ourselves another propaganda. Eric Hill. Freddie Joe Nunn. He's a nun. Wilbur Marshall. Well, nowadays, who knows? Maybe he is. Ray Crockett. Is he part of Crockett and Tubbs? I don't think so. Doesn't, don't, I don't think so. No TV references here. And Jay J Ice Pearson. Yep, J Ice. Ice, baby. All right, let's get that, get that frappered up. And then we'll get to pack number three of these 1993 stadium clubs. It looks like, well, I mean, it could be that it'll end up a complete tie. <coughs> that the 1993s won't have anything in them. We're still looking for the Michael Strahan or any of the other all-time greats or anything that might even be passable at this point. So as I'm getting open to this pack, this is the point where I say thanks much for commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, and all of that great stuff. I definitely appreciate all of y'all. Y'all help keep this fun. Sometimes, especially with packs like these, there's not much excitement in here. So, definitely appreciate all the support. And if I missed something and something should have been up on my wall of fame and I didn't put it there, let me know in the comments. 
This way, this way, I can make sure not to forget it again, right? You know, because if I, if, I, if, I, if I forget it, and you don't tell me, I'll forget it again. And it ain't my fault. It's your fault. All right, so we got this one coming up. Also, I got a bunch of videos coming out. They've been popping out once or twice a day. Uh, something on sports cards worth money. I'm actually going to be spreading that out a bit beyond sports cards. Maybe do coins or magazines or who knows what. I'm, I'm just feeling wild. Maybe I'll do hats, you know, like the hat that I'm wearing today. That's the hat I'm wearing today. So who knows? Eh, there could be something. I have this old music hat also, a Guns N' Roses hat from the like late 80s, early 90s that I still have up in my, up on my shelf of hats. So it could be something like that also. I don't know. I'll figure it out. If there's anything that y'all want to see highlighted, let me know in the comments as well. Got Cornelius Bennett now. It'd be wrong for me not to put him up on the wall here because I put him up on the wall there. So I guess I'm going to put him on the wall here. I'll keep him on the side right there. Jesse Solomon. Chris Spielman. Got Greg Skrepkek. Sorry for the interruption, y'all. I got paged. So we got David Lang. Who else we got? We got Jake Reed. Coming up on the end here. Oh, wait. What's that? We got Glenn Parker and a checklist. We always need the checklist. Can't forget the checklists. Jeff Gossett. Desmond Howard. Dwayne White. Audrey McMillan. Mark St Stefanowski. And wrapping it up. Ooh, members choice Deion Sanders. Very nice. Well, now that's a great way to finish up this pack. So yeah, I guess 93 won. I'm going to get these two in frappers right now. Do I have two frappers? Yeah, I think I have two frappers. Yep, I have three left in the package. Look at that. So I prepared for these not to be great, I guess. Because having only five frappers in the pack... That, that's not a good way to start on six packs. You should, I should always be expecting to have many more great cards that come out of six packs. And Well, it is what it is. Anyway, could have been better, could have been worse, that's for sure. Hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.